Okay, so we did our standard dumb calculator mode there. I want to do the scientific one. The answer should be 25. I think I'm done with this code, so I'm going to hit Control L L L L L L L L L. Get rid of all those lines, and uh, down here we can start coding. And as reference again, I want to bring the expression tree onto the screen. I'll put it over there. Drag this over here so that we can see it as we move along. So first thing is to multiply in the three and the four. Again, it's once we've built our expression tree, it's just a matter of collapsing these nodes correctly and, and combining it into an answer. So the first thing we need to do is collapse this three times four. So let's do that. I'm going to move into EAX the three. And then I'd like to say mole four, but again, that doesn't work. Remember, I have to move the four into a register. Uh, like so, and then I have to say multiply by that register. So that will put 3 times 4, that will equal 12, and store it in EAX. Maybe this type of commenting is better than what I was doing before. I'm sure we'll figure it out. So 3 times 4, this all collapsed and is now a 12. And now we need to do the 6 divided by 2. Well, in order to do a divide, I need to move our temporary answer out of EAX and and put it somewhere else. So ECX is just hanging out, so let's move into ECX the value that is in EAX. So yeah, let's do 12. We'll, we will store that into ECX. Uh, and now we need to basically do the same thing we did up here, but instead we're going to do a divide and we're going to use different values. So here we go. Move into EAX. 6, because that's what we are going to divide, and we're going to divide by 2, and divide, there you go, there's the divide instruction, again, let's do a comment, 6 divided by 2, that equals 3, and that is currently stored in EAX, so we got our 12 in ECX, this 12 right here, and we just collapsed all of this, this is now a 3, and that's sitting in EAX, maybe I'll actually draw the register names here. E, C, X. This is currently an E, A, X. Not a big deal, because now we need to collapse all this and add 12 to 3. That should be simple. One instruction. Add to E, C, X the value that is in E, A, X. Now, I'm kind of doing two things at once, and this is kind of a premature optimization, but who cares? I know I need to store 12 plus 3 somewhere, should I store that in ECX or should I store it in EAX? Right now, the way we've written the code, it will store in ECX, which is what I want because EAX will need to further use EAX for a multiply, so I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone. I know the next thing I'm going to do, now that I've collapsed this node, this node right here, we've collapsed it into... Uh, 12 plus 3, that should give me a 15. Well, now I need to do the multiply, and the multiply I have to use EAX, which means I have to store it temporarily somewhere else. Well, there, I just stored it temporarily in my add. Had I done uh, at EAX here and ECX here, then I would have to copy the result back out to ECX. So, anyway, just something to keep in mind there. 12 plus 3 is 15. That's right, I'm just making sure everything's good here. Next thing we need to do is this multiply, because we collapse from the bottom on up. So we got a 2, we got a 5. Let's do it. I'm going to bring this up a little bit, and like so. All right, move into EAX, the value 2. Move into EBX, the value 5. Multiply against EBX. So that will be 2 times 5 equals 10. Store that. That is currently stored in EAX. And I didn't really know where our 15 is being stored here. I should have kept up with my marking here. So this is ECX. Okay, and then EAX has our 10. All right, we've collapsed this node down to 10. And that's currently stored in... ECX, be sure, not ECX, it is an EAX, right, EAX. It's, be sure when you're writing these programs to be very careful and clear what's going in what register and what it means and 
all that because you can quickly get lost. It's hard to keep track of all these details at once. And if it helps, actually draw the registers out like I did on the previous video and keep them filled in and that kind of thing. All right, last thing we need to do is uh, multiply our result that's in EAX to our result, or not multiply, we need to add what's in ECX to EAX. All right, and we could go either way. We're going to add EAX to ECX or ECX to EAX. Doesn't matter. I think for consistency, let's let's stick with AX as much as possible. So now I'm going to say add to EAX the value that is in ECX. And that is 15 plus 10 equals 25, and that is stored in EAX. All right, and again, remember I said the answer would be 25. So hopefully we did this correctly. Let me further just make sure we collapse the rest of this. We have a 25, and that is stored in EAX. Let's trace through this program. F11, hopefully no syntax errors. We're good. Control Alt D. Bring up the disassembly. Debug Windows. I should have memorized the hotkey. Control DR. Let's try it. Control DR. Oh, Control D, I think, is being intercepted by my. Maybe that's why I don't uh, do that hotkey, is because my recording software captures the control D key or maybe the I got a lot of programs open the note-taking program that I draw all over the screen with could, captures keys as well anyway sorry Windows registers uh, call do it good F11 where did my registers go let me bring that back out uh, 3 times 4 is 12 good and then move into ECX value that this is kind of in my way right now I want to I want to step through again 3 times 4 is 12 very good copy that out to ECX so 12 is in CX and then the next thing is uh, here's our copy sorry F11 that copies it out to ECX so here's our C uh, 6, 2, now we want to divide EAX by EBX, so we're going, going to divide this by this, that will give us the 3, here EDX is still 0 because there was no remainder, we just collapsed all this, and now we have a 3, and we're, that is currently in EAX, and then we're going to add 3 and 12 again, just like we did when we were writing the program. So EAX plus ECX, 3 plus 12 is an F or a 15. Very good. This all collapsed down to a 15, and it's hanging out in the ECX register. Uh, move into EAX, the 2. So we're going to do the 2 times 5. So 2, 5, multiply. That gives us an A, which is a 10. Remember, 2 times 5 is 10, which is an A in hex. Again, read, watch the binary videos binary and hexadecimal videos if necessary. Then that collapses all this, gives us a 10, it's hanging out in A. So then we're going to multiply or we're going to add C and A together and stick the result in EAX which will give us a 25, collapse all this, 25 and that will be in EAX. Let's watch it. F11, boom, 16 plus 9 is 25, 19 hex is 25 decimal. So very good. That was hopefully, hopefully that was educationally useful for you. Again, that well, most importantly, it's nice that I can program this. It's more important that you can program it. So come up with more expressions. Calculate them in the scientific mode. Calculate them in the standard mode. Do it on the calculator in Windows Calculator. Write the programs to do it. Collapse the expression trees as I'm doing over here, over here on the right hand side of the screen. That's very useful and will be good exercises for you and help you master this rather complex and cryptic language. Actually, I think it's rather straightforward. It's just people are scared of it because it looks so complex. I have EAX instead of saying my number of my cows. Eh, whatever.